Hey guys, it's Sarah. Thank you so much for watching. So today I have another round of my four weeks for lipsticks series. So this is where I use random.org to randomly pick four lipsticks from my collection. So we have lip, bullet lipsticks, liquid lipsticks, and lip glosses, anything like that. Um, listed on a spreadsheet and there are now only 13 lipsticks left so we are nearing the end of this project I think we probably have maybe three more months left assuming I don't buy any more which I'm planning on not buying any more lipsticks <laughs> so once this project is over I think I want to do a lipstick declutter because by the time it's done I will have focused on every single lipstick in my collection this year and I think I'll have some opinions <laughs> on ones that I actually want to keep once this is over, once I've really gotten a good idea of what I have. But for now, let's go ahead and recap the four lipsticks that um, I was focusing on in July, and then we will go ahead and choose four new ones for August. In July, we had a pretty good mix of shades. Each shade was pretty different from one another. The first one was the Red Apple lipstick in the shade Beachside. This lipstick I ended up wearing nine times this month, which is far more than I normally wear, so my goal typically is just to wear each one twice. So the fact that I wore this one nine times, and that's not even counting times that I reapplied it, that's just overall days that I wore it. I really fell back in love with this lipstick, and <laughs> focusing on this lipstick this month actually really made me want to buy more shades of this. I'm not going to, <laughs> don't worry. But I fell in love with this formula all over again. It had been a while since I had worn it, so I'm really glad this got chosen this month. This is just such an easy color to wear. It is just a very tan nude shade and very glossy. So it's almost like a gloss in the form of a lipstick. And I used to not love that type of a formula, but now that I really love like the glossy, juicy lip look, um, this was just right up my alley this month and I wore it a ton. <laughs> It's actually a lipstick I think I would eventually like to try to use up. I think it would be pretty easy to use up. It almost feels like you're just wearing a balm on your lips, but it really does have good color payoff and I don't think I'd ever want to try any darker shades of this because it is just so emollient and I don't feel like it, it doesn't have the best staying power, but in a nude shade like this, it is gorgeous. I would love to try some more colors. Eventually I probably will, but um, not now. <laughs> but anyway, this was probably my favorite of the four this month, and I wasn't expecting that, especially because last month I said I was getting tired of kind of like brownish nude lipsticks, mostly because I had been wearing a lot of those in previous months, and also since I've been trying to pan my Mil Milani lip liner in Spice, which is like a brownish nude. I was getting really tired of <laughs> those kinds of lip colors, but this was just so comfortable and so easy. It went with so many different looks, so really loved wearing this and I did pair my Milani lip liner and spice with it a lot. Not every time because sometimes I like just wearing it on its own, but it did give me an opportunity to make a lot more progress on that lip liner. So we are getting really close to being done with that one. But that was a winner this month. I really enjoyed um, wearing that this month. Next we had the Profusion Matte Lip Cream in the shade Imagine. So this is actually the one I'm wearing on my lips today. I only wore this twice, including today. So liquid lipsticks are just, a, they take a little bit more effort for me. Lipsticks like the Red Apple one are very effortless. And then these, I do have to kind of make sure that my lips are prepped. I have to make sure I don't have any dry skin or like flaky skin on my lips. And then also they do wear off kind of grossly. Like <laughs> they will kind of wear off and you'll have just like a line where it's wearing off. Um, I think I took a picture <laughs> of what it looks like in that scenario. It's not, it's not super flattering, but you know, on the lips when it isn't wearing off, it looks really nice, and I don't find them to be overly drying. These Profusion lipsticks, we did have two in the in the group this month. Um, the other one was the shade Velvet, which I'll talk about in a second, but they're a very thin formula, and um, one thing I have noticed though is, especially with the shade Imagine, which I'm wearing today, it does darken quite a bit once it's on the lips, and it almost starts looking like a vampy brown, even though it's supposed to be more of just like a rosy nude color. So, I mean, it is a darker nude, but the name of this set was like blushing nudes, I think. So I was expecting, you would expect everything to be very nude, but this, this is very vampy. Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> At least on my skin tone. So that's one thing I don't love about it. I did only wear it twice because it's just something that, while I do really like the color, like I put it on today and I was like, wow, that looks 
good. It's just not something I'm gonna be, gonna be reaching for all the time, but that's kind of the case with most liquid lipsticks for me, honestly. And I'm glad I was able to get some more experience with that one. The next shade we had was the Madame Glam lipstick in Cherry Wine. This is one of their matte formulas. I don't know what the deal is with these. They keep disappearing from their website and then they'll come back and they're on sale. They're on sale for like seven bucks and they're normally, I think, either 17 or 19 dollars, somewhere around there. So if you've been wanting to pick these up, definitely now is the time because I don't know if they're going out of stock or I just don't know. It seems like they come in and out of stock a lot and I don't know what the deal is with that. And then they'll just randomly disappear. It's like, it doesn't even say out of stock, they're just gone. <laughs> so I don't really get that. But this is a very vampy red. Honestly, this is more of a red that I would want to wear around the holidays. It's not quite as much of a summer red in my opinion, but I did still enjoy wearing it again with those eyeshadows I was wearing a lot. Um, I was wearing a lot of like reddish eye looks, but yeah, I always love a good red. This is a very rich color. Um, it is a matte formula, but it is much more comfortable than a lot of liquid lipsticks would be because it's just, you know, it's a bullet lipstick, so it's a little bit creamier. Really good staying power. I do really like the formula of this and I enjoyed wearing it. I only wore this twice as well, just because it's such a bold color. And the last shade I had was, um, again, that one of the Perfusion Matte Lip Creams in the shade Velvet. This is a lighter nude, but again, it does kind of darken up. And honestly, I'm trying to remember, I wore this twice. Oh yeah, I wore this with one of the Perfusion Lip Toppers that came in this set um, in the shade Frolic, which is it, it kind of pulled silver on my lips, but that is actually more of like a rose gold topper, at least in the tube it is. But it is just kind of a cool nude, and I don't own a lot of cool toned nudes, so this was nice to have. Um, even though it's a nude color, I only wore it twice again, just because it's a liquid lipstick. Um, I, <laughs> I I said before, I bought this whole set. There were There's four liquid lipsticks in the set, and then two lip toppers. I bought that whole set on accident thinking that it was a set of glosses and it was mostly just liquid lipsticks and then like two sparkly lip toppers so not exactly what I was going for I wouldn't have even bought it if I had known but it's okay it's giving me a chance to kind of test out the formula and um, so those are my thoughts with um, using those this month so I think that is kind of the recap on the four lipsticks that I was using in July now let's go ahead and randomly select four new ones for August and we're running out of <laughs> running out of options so there are 13 left over I do take out the ones that have already been used from the list so that we don't get any repeats because I want to just focus on four completely fresh new ones so let's go ahead and choose some new ones first number I got is number six and that is the Ulta Beauty patent shine liquid lipstick um, in the shade Verona, and this is something I got in a gift with purchase. It's essentially a gloss, but with quite a bit of pigment, so it's a very opaque gloss, and it also, once the glossiness kind of wears off, you still have some color to your lips, so it's almost like a liquid lipstick, which is what why I think that's why it's called a liquid lipstick, but it's a like a glossy version of a liquid lipstick. Very interesting formula. I'm excited to get more use out of it because I think I've only worn it twice since I've had it and I do want to um, play around with it some more and form more of an opinion on it. So um, I'm glad we got that one. Let's pick another. I got number 10 and that is another one of the Profusion matte lip creams. <laughs> I mean, I knew we would eventually get them. Um, in the shade Cherish. So that is another, it's almost like a lighter version of Imagine. It's just a little bit of a lighter rosy nude. So maybe this will be the rosy nude that I was hoping for. <laughs> Hopefully it won't darken too much. Um, and it does actually seem to have a little bit of shimmer to it. So, okay. Now let's pick a third one. So I got seven at that time, and that is the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in Pillow Talk. And this was actually a gift from a very sweet subscriber. I have only worn this a couple times and I love it. I wish that I could have even worn it more times, but since I was focusing on all my other lipsticks, I just haven't worn it much. I am going to wear this so much this month, I already know. I mean, you guys know this shade, it's like a cult classic. The formula of this, I, I don't wanna to speak too soon because again, I've only worn it a couple times, but this is one of the nicest bullet lipstick formulas I have ever tried. That's all I'm gonna say right now. <laughs> because I want to actually use it some more, but I'm excited to finally have this one. I was waiting, I've been waiting for it to get picked, and now it's finally been picked. I'm so, so excited to focus on this. It's so luxurious. Mm. So, so far we have all nude shades. 
Um, all right, let's pick a fourth and final shade. I got six that time and we already got that. That's the Ulta Patent Shine. So let's do another one, nine. And that is another matte lip cream from Perfusion in the shade Secret. And that is actually a full sized one. This also came with a lip liner. So maybe I will also pull that out um, to test them together since I think they're kind of meant to be used together. But this is one of their matte lip creams in the full size. And it smells so much nicer than the mini versions. And I don't know if maybe they just didn't put the fragrance in the minis because these don't have any scent at all. Yeah, they have no scent. But these, this one smells like very like a vanilla cupcake or something. It smells amazing. So um, anyway, that will be good to test out. So those are the four lipsticks we have and I am really curious to see them all swatched. There's the four all together. Um, wow, they're all the same, <laughs> almost, not quite, but they're all pinky, rosy, and or peachy nudes or some mix <laughs> of that description. So yeah, but we've got, we've got a glossy version and then we've got a couple of matte liquid lipsticks and then we have a bullet lipstick so some nice variety here um, that perfusion color is already darkening unfortunately well I guess it's not really darkening that much it does look darker than it does in the tube though so kind of a bummer I wish they wouldn't do that but that's just kind of comes with the territory of liquid lipsticks but anyway there's the four that we're gonna be focusing on this month pretty. Um, I'm gonna be wearing a lot of nude lipsticks, but that's okay. <laughs> but definitely look forward to seeing these on my lips uh, in upcoming videos, and I will also definitely be sure to share my thoughts on each of them in the next update of this. So if you enjoyed this video, I would love to have you subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you again very soon, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!